Let's try a blue ink today. So recall that a matrix is symmetric if A equals A transpose. So a symmetric matrix A is when A is equal to A transpose or when the A transpose is equal to A. So essentially means that everything that's on the off diagonals um, is reflected along the main diagonal as if that's a mirror. So uh, just a quick little example, something like one, two, three, three. Uh, that's, so let's say this is matrix A. If I were to transpose it, which means shift it along its main diagonal, well, one, two, three, three, this is equal to A transpose, it's the same thing, 1, 3, 3, 2, 1, 3, 3, 2. This is a symmetric matrix. Okay, now we'll start off with a very, very interesting theorem. So you recall, you know, we can take this matrix, we can set up that uh, equation and uh, where we took the eigenvalue equation where we have lambdas and the characteristic polynomial and we solve the polynomial for its roots. And the real roots of that equation are going to be the eigenvalues of this particular matrix. Well, as it turns out, that all the roots of what we say f of lambda, which is the characteristic polynomial, lambda of a symmetric matrix, are real numbers. So as it turns out, if our matrix happens to be symmetric, we know automatically uh, from this theorem that all of the roots are going to be real. So there's always going to be a real eigenvalue. Now, we'll throw out another theorem, which will help us. If A is a symmetric matrix, Then eigenvectors belonging to distinct eigenvalues, because you know sometimes eigenvalues they can repeat, eigenvalues are orthogonal. That's interesting. And orthogonal, as you remember, dot product is equal to zero or perpendicular. Okay, so once again, if A is a symmetric matrix, then the eigenvectors belonging to distinct eigenvalues are orthogonal. So let's say I have a particular matrix, a two by two, and let's say the eigenvalues that I get are three and negative four. Well, when I calculate the eigenvectors for three and for negative four, as it turns out, those uh, vectors that I get uh, will be orthogonal. Their dot product will always equal zero. So let's do a quick example of this. We will let A equal 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. And if you take a quick look at it, you'll realize that this is a symmetric matrix. Look along the main diagonal. If I flip it along the main diagonal as if that's the mirror, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. So this is a symmetric matrix. Uh, when I subject this to mathematical software, um, again, when you first start dealing with eigenvectors and eigenvalues, I imagine your professor or teacher is going to have you work by hand simply to get used to uh, working with the equation, just so you have an idea of what it is that you're dealing with, some mathematical object. But once you're reasonably familiar, you're going to be using mathematical software to extract these eigenvalues and eigenvectors. But sometimes the process just takes too long otherwise. So what we get is, well, lambda 1... Uh, let me start over here. The first eigenvalue is equal to 1, and that yields the eigenvector 1, 0, 0. Lambda 2, the second eigenvalue is 0. 0 is a real value, and it yields the eigenvalue, um, eigenvector. To eigenvalue, eigenvector, eigenspace. Yeah, I know. Okay. And that gives me the vector 0, minus 1, 1. 
lambda 3, the third eigenvalue, is 2 for this matrix, and it yields the eigenvector 0, 1, 1. Uh, if you were to check the dot product of this and this, this and this, this and this, the mutual dot products, they all equal 0. So as it turns out, this theorem is confirmed. The eigenvectors corresponding to distinct eigenvalues are mutually orthogonal. Okay. Now, 